So here are 10 of the best smelling niche fragrances in my collection that I personally think you should be gatekeeping. If you happen to sample or purchase any of these, you're wearing them in public, somebody asks you what you're wearing, just don't even tell them, right? Lie to them, keep it a secret for yourself. Well, not really. I like to be generous and let people know and be honest with what I'm wearing, but 10 fragrances that smell so good, they're worth gatekeeping. I'm excited to share this list with you very soon, so make sure to stay tuned. in today's episode and I tell you about these 10 niche fragrances that are absolutely worth gatekeeping. I mean these are phenomenally well constructed. They smell incredible. They're unique. They deliver. The performance is there for most of them and a lot of them smell just outright delicious. But before I start the video I do want to mention that if you're a fan of fragrance related content hit subscribe, hit the bell and also please give this video a thumbs up. It would really, really mean a lot to me. The first one that I want to talk about is a recent acquisition of mine. The brand is Eau de Mo. This is made by, or the creative director, is Mo, who also has the brand Kajal. This one is called Lean. So this is mostly like a saffron, jasmine, ambergris type of a fragrance. It smells so natural, it's uplifting, it's fresh, but then there's this element of intrigue about it that I think is stunning. Of course, we also have Rusty Vibes by Antonio Alessandria. This is an Italian brand. This perfume is one of the fruitiest fragrances you'll ever try. Tropical, exotic, it smells so divine and it smells so natural, so juicy, bursting at the seams. I was blown away. Everything from this brand is such great quality. I know Perfumology carries them, so if you have a chance to try it out, please, please do. Here we have a fragrance that is tuberose and caramel. This one by Electimus London is called Mercurial Cashmere. When it comes to this brand, everybody seems to be talking about two fragrances, Amber Ocularia and Imperium. And for good reason, Amber Ocularia, Cognac, Agarwood, it's boozy, it's sweet. Some people have said it smells like cherry cough syrup. I kind of get that, but I love it. It's a very peculiar smell, but it smells very opulent. And then Imperium kind of smells like the the vanilla that you get in Creed Aventus, right? So if you can imagine combining Ani by Nishane and Creed Aventus, both of which are very popular, very well known, so can't gatekeep those because everybody knows about them. Mercurial Cashmere on the other hand, Caramel and Tuberose, phenomenal. So we're getting sweet here by Soradora, a Parisian brand. This one is called Janie. So this has apple crumb, puff pastry, cinnamon, caramel, it's basically like the cinnamon apple pie perfume, dessert in a bottle. If you can imagine um, Killian's Angel Share without the booze, with an amplified sweetness, and it's just so decadently sweet. I mean, it's to die for, you have to try it. Again, let's keep that gourmand motif going. By Viva More Parfum, we have Caramel Pop. This is made by Sidonie Lencesur. She is one of the most amazing perfumers she has done tons of gourmands that I truly love, fragrances for Killian Paris and for Pond, and the list goes on and on. This fragrance has a caramelized popcorn accord and it has bourbon vanilla in the dry down. It is divine. Of course, we also, mm, let me save that for number one. <laughs> Café Beignet by Hez Parfum, chocolate and coffee. Realistic, there's a complexity to it, it's amazing. I can't say too much more about it, but of course you give it a try, you'll notice how the gourmand tendencies just, you know, coalesce with the coffee aroma that is so rich and it doesn't smell like a freshly brewed pot of coffee because sometimes that can have almost like a bitter or astringent smell, but this one smells like the roasted but not yet brewed coffee beans. It's amazing. Please try it. Of course, we also have all right, this one I've let the cat out of the bag on numerous occasions. Darley by Parfum de Marly. In a world where everybody is talking about Pegasus and Leighton and Carlisle and Haltane and Perseus, a lot of people are still not talking about Darley. This one is like Creed's original Santal in Reflection for Men by Amouage. If they had a baby, it would be Darley. 
you have that cinnamon sweetness, you have the brightness of Neroli. It is sensual, but classy and sophisticated at the same time. Of course, we also have this one, Noir Exquis by L'Artisan Parfumeur. The name translates to Exquisite Black, composed by Bertrand du Chaffaut, this sweet, gourmand, romantic, evening out on the town type of a fragrance. Has like this licorice marshmallow accord. It's divine. Of course, we also have this one, which it's been around for a number of years. And I guess when it comes to this brand, people are always talking about, you know, um, Instant Crush. Uh, obviously, the brand is Mansara, and I have them behind me here. And I love so many Sicily and Cosmic Pepper and Jardin Exclusif. And, you know, of course, their tobacco fragrance is superb. Black Gold. Agarwood, Jasmine, Saffron, this stuff is amazing. It's complex, it gets compared to I think number one by Clive Christian. I always got like a little bit of like a Paco Rabanne one million sweetness in the dry down, but smells way more natural, way more complex, way richer. Black Gold is phenomenal. And the fragrance that I think is worth gatekeeping despite the fact that I think I've already mentioned it in like three videos, several lists, and I think I even did a standalone review on it, but I love this stuff. I discovered this back in December. I knew I had to have a bottle. And this one has chocolate, vanilla, caramel, coconut. I mean, all of the most delicious gourmand ingredients you can possibly fathom by Lorenzo Pataglia. This one is called Sugar Kisses. Anything this brand puts out, Carbonara, Summer Hammer, Sweet Explosion, Sangria is a new one. I had the pleasure of trying a mod of that back in December. I don't know if it was quite finalized yet. Let me tell you something. Everything that this brand puts out lasts 12 plus hours. And I had the chance to meet up with Lorenzo and he is an incredible perfumer. He is so passionate, so exuberant, so charismatic, and um, Sugar Kisses is a gourmand experience like no other. I'm gonna drop all of the links down below. Don't trust me. Um, trust your own nose. Don't blind buy. Get a sample, spend the least amount of money possible. Try it on your own skin, and you make that determination for yourself. At the end of the day, fragrances are subjective, but here are 10 niche perfumes that are not as often spoken about and i think they smell so good they're worth gatekeeping but i leave that up to you i proudly shared them with you because i think they deserve the recognition thank you for watching i hope you took something of value from this video and if you did please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm as well thank you again so much for joining me today i love you all we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode Bye.